<laughs> Welcome to the Fox 17 Rock and Review. I'm hanging out with the incredibly talented JD Simo. You've probably seen him like in every guitar magazine lately. I think uh, the latest article I read on you, JD, was in uh, Guitar Player magazine. Thanks, man. And uh, man, you're getting some great coverage. Yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful for that. You know? it, it's nice to see a hometown guy, you know, which we, you know, I know you weren't born here, but we consider you hometown with Nashville. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah I, it's uh, getting my that home. kind of publicity. Well, I appreciate it. I'm grateful as well, you know, I mean, you just. Do the best you can, and well, everything works out the way it's supposed to. You're doing incredible. And the new album, uh, you know, I've been listening to it a lot, and it let love show the way. And I was a big fan of your first album that came out with a few years ago. Thank you. Uh, full Soul. And right there it is. And it's like, man, who, who did the artwork for that? You know, the, the art director for uh, uh, our label, uh, Mascot Music Group, uh, yeah. the, the, uh, a gentleman actually at their office in the Netherlands, um, came up with it and I didn't see it until it was mostly finished and I was we gave them some like input you know because we're a bunch of hippies you know we always <laughs> as you can tell you know you know I think this coat's been cleaned once but um, it's broken the, the, it is it's part of me <laughs> but uh, the uh, no we yeah, I'm really really pleased with the way that all because yeah. it came out like if I could do that that's what I would have done, you know. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not a graphic artist, you know. So no, me either. So I'm really, but I'm. Yeah, no, I'm really. It looks good on t-shirts. Oh man, too. totally. Well, it looks so cool. Well, just like your last uh, album did as well. But you know, I was thanks. listening to the tracks, and it's like we were talking about the uh, cool wah effects and everything you used oh, on thanks. the title track, and you. Uh, and you recorded this uh, at the Almond Brothers uh, yep. studio. Yeah, we did. We we we'd made up. Uh, to in short, we made a a whole nother record that was released. Uh, or that we were going to release, right? And we had signed the deal with Mascot on the basis of that, essentially. Yeah. And so they asked us to to do some bonus tracks, and I, from years of doing session work here, I'm kind of bored with working in recording studio. I like to work in houses or, you know, warehouse spaces or yeah. places that aren't studios. You and, keep a very and, live sound. Yeah, just and like and your it's shows. just yeah, and it's just it's I I enjoy it more so. Um, there were several locations that I thought would be fun to go in for a day or two and do some bonus tracks. And just so happened, I have a long-standing relationship with, uh, with one gentleman in particular who's, uh, who's, who's one of the curators at the Allman Brothers Museum down there wow. in Macon, and uh, uh, a gentleman by the name of uh, Richard Brent, who's a very dear friend of mine. And, and uh, anyway, everything worked out. They allowed us to do it, and we went down there for two days and ended up making a whole another record How in incredible. those two days. So. Um, you know, uh, it was a it was a pretty surreal thing. Well, and also that you got to use uh, one of Dwayne Allman's Les Pauls. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and you've played that before, mm. but you got to actually record with it as well. Yeah, it was it was heavy, man. You know, the owner, and that's another very long story. But the gentleman who owns it, I've known for probably about ten years now, is a collector friend of mine who lives in Florida, and uh, he's been gracious enough to let me, and then a lot of other people. I mean, some famous, not some not so famous, right. but. He's really gracious with letting people play that particular gold top, and Dwayne used it on the first couple of Allman Brother records, right. and he used it on the Layla record with Eric. And wow. um, it's a it's a heavy duty piece of machinery, and and uh, you know so it's at the museum. He knew that you know he knew that we were going to go down there for these couple of days, and he just said, "Well, man, you know, you're welcome to use it." And yeah. um, we just got on a real good wavelength, and you know those who are familiar with the recording process, you know it can take months to record something that should take 15 minutes and right. it can take hours to record 40 things yeah. if it's working so we just really got in a really good wave down there and got a lot of work done more totally. work than i'd ever done gotten done in such a small amount yeah. of time and you've been in the studio for like forever well let's also talk about great uh, interesting instruments gibson is going to be coming out with your own signature model yeah and you've got the prototype one yeah. here yeah this is the first one um uh this i have an old 335 that uh I love that this is a, 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 repli a replica of... So this is basically a copy of Red. Yeah, and uh, this is the first one, because they're going to do like a production model from Memphis, and then they're going to do like the aged one um, from the custom shop. Yeah. And this is the custom shop one, and Just I love incredible. it. incredible. It's actually better than the real one. Um, That's amazing. Better. Yeah, which is weird to me. Yeah. And uh, well, and, and, the, and the way they're doing it at the custom shop, you know, it looks vintage with the way it's checked yeah. and everything on the finish. Yeah, I mean, they knocked it. There's, there's some certain marks. Like, it's hard on camera, but like this... <laughs> There's a this mark right here is like one I made on the real one, and there's a knock on the headstock here that like was the first ding I ever yeah. made on it. It was on a head, it was on a mic stand. Oh my gosh! And uh, yeah, so it's it's kind of weird, but yeah, I've got this, and then I also brought with me 
Yeah, we um, I, I have a 1960 uh, burst, a real one, that um, has been like on long-term loan to me for wow. for a year and a half yeah, or more. Yeah. And I've I've brought that all over the world with me and used it on the new record. And I mean, it's that's just, an incredible guitar. It's weird, man. You know, I mean, I never really thought I'd have the opportunity to play such nice instruments, and you know, it's it's. Um, it's an honor. Yeah, you well, know? You know, and, and it shows, too, because, I mean, you can really hear the tone, you know, on this new album, uh, J.D., and, and it's, it's funny also when I was reading in the article about you and the Coruscant bottles, oh, yeah. that, that you use the real Coruscant bottles, yeah, not, yeah. The, not the, yeah. you know, the made ones or anything, so you search them up on eBay. Well, I have. I kind of, uh, people uh, have been gracious enough to kind of, over time, they knew I, people, like the internet's an interesting, weird place, right? So <laughs> exactly. It's, so there, I've gotten several, this one in particular, and several more I've gotten from people who just brought them to me at shows. Right. People were kind enough to do that. That's awesome. Um, you know, because these things go for, I think, more than people should pay right. for them. I mean, after well, all, and, it is just a piece of glass. And you think uh, about it, too. I think a, a lot of times it's that connotation back to, major players such as Dwayne Allman, mm -hmm. who utilized them as well, which is yeah. kind of neat that Dwayne did, and then you did on his guitar, and yeah. you got a new signature model. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's crazy, man. But uh, it was it was recording there with his guitar, like standing in their old living, because it's, it's not a studio, it's a yeah. house. Yeah. We just set up, we brought, you know, um, portable equipment with uh, from uh, Blackbird Studio here. Right, and, um, that's what I read. And uh, it was... Uh, that was really weird, you know? I mean, it's just something, again, like, I mean, I think it's important that everybody have dreams, you know, yeah. because they can't come true if you don't have them. But right. it's just, there's certain ones that, there's certain things that I just, you know, I never really, you know, you don't really, I, you, I think t typically we kind of dream in like grander, like right. more kind of wide sweeping things mm -hmm. that it's like when little things like that happen and you find yourself in the middle <laughs> of them, you're kind of like, this is really strange. Kind of surreal, you know, yeah. you know, being raised in Chicago and then, and then first, you know, touring and stuff, you know, in, in Phoenix and then, yeah. and then in Nashville yeah. and then now this, I mean, it's been, uh, things are going well. Yeah, no, we're we're grateful. We've been gone a <laughs> and lot. And the new record album, I mean, the new uh, the yeah. label also. Yeah, with Mascot's been incredibly helpful, thanks to, uh, in no small part, to my dear friend Joe Bonamassa, uh -huh. who's been, you know, he's like the older brother you know, I never had. You know, he's yeah. he's he's been. We're really good friends, and I can't say enough good about him. You know, he's as good of a cat, yeah, uh, as a person as he is you know, a musician and a businessman, you know, and I love him dearly. But yeah, he went to bat for us and has helped me greatly. And we're lucky we've been all over the world this past year. And, and um, you know, we leave for tour after this show um, at Third and Lindsley on Sunday. Right. We leave for a, a tour that's going to not wrap up until July. Not be back till so, so just in time for the signature model yeah, Gibson 335 exactly. to come out. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, you know, the album uh, is available in the UK this week, but won't be uh, available until February 2nd. And uh, it's an incredible album. Every thank track, you. I don't thank think there's you. any bad tracks on here. Well, thank you. Let Love Show the Way, J.D. Simo, leader of the band Simo. Catch them live on tour. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, hit it out on the road next week, mm -hmm. and uh, congrats on the awesome album and the signature model. Thank you very much, Eric, for having me again. Always good. Thanks for watching the Fox 17 Rock Interview.